it's hard for the father to start dancing in the dark part of the park. It's hard for the father to start dancing in the dark part of the park. Hard, it's hard for the father to start dancing in the dark part of the park. <laughs> Hello everyone, how are you doing guys? Um, well, for this uh, phrase, I mean, it doesn't make, it doesn't make much sense. But anyway, the thing that you have to remember is when you have this sound, this R sound, um, again, opening your throat, opening your mouth, relaxing your tongue, of course, but in you have to pay attention to the word dancing, right? That in British English, you will pronounce it with an R sound, R, very deep, but in American English, uh, you will pronounce it with, um, with A, with a first wick sound, all right? So pay attention to it. If you want to follow a, a more British pronunciation, you might say, it's hard for the father to start dancing in the dark part of the park, all right? But if you go for, an, for a more American accent, and I will try my best to nail it, you should go like, it's hard, it's hard for the father to start dancing in the dark part of the park. <laughs> Horrible. Anyway, uh, pay attention to the word dancing or dancing, right? Depending on you, uh, you would like to go either for a British uh, pronunciation or an American one, all right? See you guys, bye bye. To start dancing in the dark part of the park. I shall do that without the ping pings. It's hard for the father to start dancing in the dark part of the park. It's hard for the father to start dancing in the dark part of the park. Stress on dancing being A, not R.